This past winter has been a crazy roller coaster ride here in my Modesto, California Zone 9B garden. First part of the winter, we had a lot of rain, record rainfall. Then 60 days without any rain. Then we warmed up quite a bit in February, leading to most of my tropical plants and trees into a rapid state of growth. Then we had a freeze caused some damage to some of my tropical fruit trees. And we're going to take a look at that. But first, if you like this channel, make sure to hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, any comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below. Let's take a look at how my Mauritius lychee tree fared in this winter cold. So I have several thermometers and a weather station here in my garden. And you don't really need a thermometer to see that there was a freeze in my backyard. My official low on my weather station was 32 degrees, but out in the middle of the yard, it probably was a smidgen lower. I'm going to say it was probably right around 31 degrees. And as you can see by these banana trees, uh, there, there's some serious damage on them. But I'm going to do a video on that a little later. We're here to talk about uh, how the effect on my Mauritius lychee tree. Lychee trees are somewhat frost tender and a lot of people have problems growing them. Let's walk over to my lychee tree and take a look and see how it's doing. So here is my Mauritius lychee tree. It's uh, planted up against the south side of my wall and a quick look shows no damage by the sub-freezing temperatures. As a matter of fact, this growth was, uh, is new growth that came out during the fall. And I don't see anywhere where there's any damage on this, this beautiful little tree. I love lychee trees. I love them for their fruit, but I like them for their landscape value too. As you can see, it's very tropical looking. But take a look right there. You can see some, some new growth on this guy. Um, I got this tree from a, uh, I took an air layer uh, a couple years from an old lychee tree that I had growing and it's just doing great. Um, the cold hasn't really caused much damage. As you can see, there's some new growth. Here we are in March, early March, and there's a lot of new growth. I do want to explain that I think I have a little more um, a little more uh, luck, let's just say, with my lychee trees than some of the people in Northern California. As I am aware that we, the lychee trees like an acid soil, and we really don't have a very acid soil here in Northern California, at least where I live in the San Joaquin Valley. But what I do is I make sure to put down a lot of compost and... Um, I also put down some peat moss as part of my compost regime. And then just before winter sets in, I put down Sulpo Mag. It's a sulfur, potassium, magnesium um, amendment, uh, fertilizer as it will. And it just seems to just perk this tree up. It loves it. And we're coming into spring and they're just about ready to produce some flowers and I'll do another video whenever they're flowering and then one when they set fruit but take a look at this guy right here this is my um, my Mauritius lychee air layer that I did and it was not protected in any way shape or form and it had new growth on it and as you can see this new growth is really pushing out there no damage so what can we learn about this cold? Well, actually, lychees can take a little bit of cold as long as it's not very long in duration and the temperatures are not too low. It's my understanding that a, a lychee tree such as this can take temperatures down as low as 25 degrees, though this tree itself has never had that kind of low temperatures experience. I think the lowest this one has experienced was right around 28 degrees. No damage. So yeah, no damage on my tr main tree and no damage on 
my um, air layer. It's really healthy. So if you like this channel, make sure to hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. You have a wonderful day.